Hey guys. Uh, now, I don't know if uh, if any of you have bought one of these. Um, I, I bought a couple. I'm doing a couple of projects, and they're both power supplies. And so, anyway, just uh, but when you buy one, they're great. You can find them really cheap uh, on eBay, on Amazon, and uh, but they don't have any instructions. You go through the post, and there's no instruction. Now, this one, let me switch this one on. It. I think this is a uh, yeah. This is a the red and red, and this is the uh, red and the blue on the amps but I just wanted to uh, do a quick show of how to you, you can connect these up and how you can how you can make it just look really simple doing it too um, I did after quite a bit of scouting I did find a set of instructions of how to do it but it, it, they always seem to have the shunt with them um, and if you don't have the shunt it can just seem a little bit confusing so very quickly then you got two thin wires um, negative positive this is to actually light the display yeah? completely separate power thing to these wires the light the display and that's it um, and drive it maybe I don't know I don't know but this is those wires of to get this to light up okay positive and negative not a problem now where you've got the uh, the yellow the red and the black again so you've got your positive and your negative hook that on to the supply that you want to supply your load and then just pretend this cable is your new negative so you connect the negative lead up which is going to the negative connection on this bulb and then the positive lead from the bulb just clip it onto the power positive the one that's actually going to be powering your circuit and that's it that's, that, that, that is it that is simple and I would probably guesstimate and i'll try it that this is the same thing on this they've even kept it within the correct coding that would be a new negative so this is going to be the same way around and and i'm pretty convinced that that's going to be exactly the same because everything else is exactly the same except for a different color wire there and that's a good enough negative anyway so i'm just going to flip that on and you can see um, on my power supply i've set it at uh, it's, it's on one volt um, and it's reading 0.999 on there and it's reading 0.496 amps which that is reading there I'll turn the voltage up um, the voltage, I'm just not sure the correct settings ok so we're going up in ampage, we're going up in voltage that's right one point I got, I got 2 volts on my power supply we got 1.7 there, so there's two pots on the back, and I can um, 0.946 amps we're using. 0.94, so that's good enough on the ampage. A little tiny bit of warmth coming off there. Let me give it a bit more power, so we can get a little bit of glow on the light. Oh, I think about five volts or something. So 5.1, five volts. Uh, 4.6. Got a little bit of glow on the light. Then you can just about see that. Should be able to see that in there. Uh, there you go. Set a glow on the light. I'm gonna back that down because the wires aren't very good, as I say. But that's uh, that's that's about right. I've got 5.6, 5.7 on the power supply, and I will probably just um, I'll trim this. Turn that off. And as you see yourself on the back, there's two pots, and I think they actually say which one's which. Can do that that's one of the things i don't like because this is going to be doing the work away and because it's got that connection there I've got a funny feeling it's not going to give the greatest connection so there's going to be a bit of resistance there um, yeah you got vr and you've got uh, ir so there you go current and voltage uh not a problem so basically you've got this the thin wires going to your separate power supply just to light this thing up okay and have the have this doing its thing and then you've got your other connector and that goes to your power supply again or to a power source where you have where you're going to be wanting to power you know your thing your load in this case the lamp so positive and negative to that the other wire 
blue or yellow it seems will become your new negative you connect that to your load and you just hook onto the positive again on your load to the positive to the positive that you're going to give uh, here okay let's give this a little quick tune just there just while we got it on so into the final one that fits that's sort of doing it so what we got we got 0.99 Okay, that seems the. I hope I don't put the screwdriver in anywhere on here that I don't want it to go. It's not the greatest to fit. Oh, is that it? Is that as far as it turns? Okay, well, maybe I've got to be happy with that. Let me just turn it up for a couple of volts. One and a half, 1.4. Uh, maybe we'll just switch that to. Actually, two volts, so we've got 1.89. Mm, that's not very good is it that's not very good I wonder what the limit is on the on the tube that's going to be too big right I need to find a more appropriate screwdriver just to make sure that this is actually tuned to the limit sorry about the hideous noise Well, it seems that's as far as that will tune upwards to 1.96. Uh, and I presume the other one's going to be pretty similar because they're the same units, so I've just got to. Oh. I tell a porky there is a difference. There's quite a considerable difference. But. Oh, you can't see. You might like this just a bit one. Ah, uh, there is a bit of difference to what's in there. You can see that very well at all. No, absolute light. It's absolute rubbish, isn't it? Sorry. Hey, okay. let me turn those off. Uh, can't really do a lot about that.